All right, you filmed your video, you've layered on some music, and now you're actually ready to add on a voiceover. Now, if you're editing on Canva, your video on Canva, it can actually be a little bit confusing how best to actually do this. So maybe you've watched all these other video tutorials about how to actually add on a voiceover, and you're still feeling like it's a bit clunky when you actually go to do it yourself. Let me show you how to actually best do this in this tutorial. By the way, welcome back to another video. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio. I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are also building your intentional business right now, then be sure to subscribe to follow for more inspiration and video tutorials like this. By the way, this video is also part of a bigger Skillshare class. Um, one of my newest Skillshare classes called Romanticize Your Business Video Content Creation with Canva. You can actually take that class for completely free with my one month free trial to Skillshare. So I'll be sure to link that in the description below. All right, now let's head to my laptop and let's figure out how to actually add that voiceover into your Canva video. Hello, welcome to my laptop. All right, so we have Canva opened here right now. And I just have one of my video files opened here. This is a video that I made um, for one of my newest classes on Skillshare, Romanticize um, Your Business, Video Content Creation with Canva. And this is an example project that I worked on. I basically just filmed a couple of clips of my day and then looped it all together and then put on some background music. Um, and now I'm ready to add a voiceover. Now there are actually two ways to do this on Canva. The first way, which is like the way that's most recommended in other uh, YouTube videos here, um, which I actually don't recommend because the quality of it is just not very good. And, um, and that first way is to record it right on Canva. And truthfully, it's not the best place to be recording a voiceover right now. It's possible, but if your video clip is even a little bit more complicated, like this one, it has multiple clips in it. Maybe there's multiple different voiceover clips in it. Um, that's just not possible right now, but I'll show it to you anyway, so you can see what I mean by it being a little bit complicated and fidgety and like just doesn't really work very well. Um, but I'll show you anyway. So basically you can record a voiceover within uh, Canva and to do that, you will go to share up here. And honestly, I think this button is very confusing these days because it's not just share. You can do so many other things with this button as well. It should be like a settings button or something. Anyways, you can click on more and right here you can click on present and record. And with present and record, um, you can go on and click into the recording studio now and um, you can set different things. So right now we only want a voiceover, so there's no camera needed. You can pick your microphone if you want. And then when you're ready to record, you can go ahead and click on start recording. And I'll give you a little countdown. And basically at this very moment, you are recording your voiceover. Now, unfortunately you can't play your video while you are recording your voiceover. So that's really frustrating because in a video like this, I want to know when it's going to go to the next clip so that I'm going to continue, you know, talking about the video clips <laughs> through my voiceover, but I can't do that. The only way, is just like manually flipping through the videos and that's not very helpful. So that's one thing that's really annoying about recording voiceovers on Canva. The other thing is, as you'll see later, it's almost impossible to record two or multiple voiceover recordings. So that's really, really annoying because sometimes you might mess up. So you wanna record one part of it and then record the second part of it in another video or another audio, and that's not really possible. So anyways, I'm gonna end this recording right now. And what it's gonna do, it's going to allow you to download this audio. 
So you can go ahead and click on download and it's going to download it into your audio section right here. So what you can do is you can then drag this audio over into your video space here, bring that in here, and then I'm just gonna move the audio all the way to the front here. Now at this point, let's just say your video is really, really simple and it's just like a one take and you do a one take for your audio and it's all good to go. Let's just say there's a part of it that you really want to cut out. You can still do that. So you can just go to the part that you wanna cut out and go to um, split audio right here. Let's say this pause right here is what you wanna cut out. You can go ahead and right click and split audio there. And then you can just go ahead and delete that middle section there. So very easy. If you do have a simple video that recorded, that's a one take, and then you have a one take for your audio, then super simple. You can definitely use the in-house Canva present and record feature. Now, again, this is not my preferred option. Option number two is actually my preferred option here. And that is to actually use an external recorder to um, record your audio first and then bring it into Canva. So what I like to do because I have um, an Apple uh, iPhone here, I actually like to literally just go into my voice recording app and I'll just click on record and start recording. So I'll just pretend that I'm doing a quick recording here. So I'm going to click on record. Hello, this is a day in the life as a freelance designer. Uh, this is just an example of a voice recording over this video. So let's see how this sounds. Um, this part I actually want to cut out, but then we get right back into it. And this is my day in the life. All right, so I have that video now. I'm just going to literally send this over to my, uh, to my, to my computer here. So I'm gonna go to share and I'm just going to airdrop it over. All right, so once you have the recording, you can go to uploads here and I'm just going to drag over the recording into this space. And now we have the recording crisp and clear and I'm going to drag this into the section here and there we go so now we have this recording now as you can see here if you recorded multiple recordings that's super easy because you can go ahead and again just drag it into here and have multiple recordings um kind of like you know part one and part two if you like we're gonna listen to this really quickly and we're gonna start to make edits to this so um, if you look at this audio file right here, you can see there's clearly a lot of space in this beginning and I don't want that space. So I'm actually going to cut that out. So where it kind of stops the space, I'm going to put my cursor there and I'm gonna drag this over and that actually cuts the audio. So again, I'm gonna click on space bar and I'm gonna listen to the audio recording here. Hello, this is a day in the life as a freelance designer. Okay, that part is what I want to cut out. So we're going to do this cutting example again, but then we get right back into it. And so that's where it ends. So I'm going to split this part. And then there was this part. Oh, so let's see how this sounds. Okay, right there. So again, you can use your spacebar to uh, press play and pause the audio. And that actually helps you be more accurate with uh, where to split your audio. And then you can go ahead again, just to do the same thing, right click, split video, and then you can go ahead and just take out this section right here. And then you can move this audio wherever you like. Let's say I want to just loop it together. Now the perks about recording it on your iPhone or any external mic is because you can now actually watch your video as you record. So I didn't really talk about this earlier, but basically what you wanna do is you can literally just play your video. So I would play it on like silent. I would just play the video as I record. And this way you can kind of sync your audio recording to your video. Now that's one way to do it if you already recorded your video. My preferred way of putting together a video is actually to do your voice recording first and then edit the video to the audio recording. I find it a lot easier to actually edit the video, make it shorter, make it longer to kind of match your audio instead. So 
let's just say you already recorded your video and started editing and you're doing your voice over afterwards it's a lot easier to do this separately on your external mic just by simply playing the video and recording at the same time so Again, option two here is a lot easier to work with on Canva. It has a lot more flexibility. You can drag in your audio, multiple audios, wherever you like, uh, split them up and just edit it super easily. And then you have a recorded voiceover over your Canva video. All right, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you did, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials like this. By the way, as I've mentioned before, this video is actually part of a bigger Skillshare class. My newest Skillshare class, Romanticize Your Business Video Content Creation with Canva. It is made specifically for service-based entrepreneurs who want to finally start creating video content to market their business. Now, I'm gonna be teaching you the easiest way to do this with just your iPhone and with a Canva video editor. So if you wanna take the class, you can take it completely for free with my one month Skillshare trial. I'm going to link it in the description below for you. All right, I can't wait to see you in class and I guess I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye. <laughs>